Hey, what's good, Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball. And today, I've got a four-minute finishing workout that is gonna help you never miss layups because we're working on a lot of high-level stuff. All right, so for this workout, I've got four separate drills, and for each drill, you're gonna do them for a minute straight. So what I would do is set a timer or something like that on your phone and go ahead and do them. Now, what's great about this is you can double up the workout if you want more, but this is a great quick hitter workout. A lot of times I use it as a warm up for my players, and it's a great way to get started. But before we jump into it, go ahead and click the top link in the description down below, or the first pinned comment link down there and get free instant access to my Instant Buckets scoring workout. This is a quick five minute workout. This is gonna work on your entire game. So you're definitely gonna wanna hit that down below because if you pair these two together, it's a great workout. All right, so the first one we're gonna do is outside scoop finishes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the athlete cut to the outside and get a quick pass right here where they're catching, ripping baseline. Now, if you don't have a passer, you can always spin the ball to yourself to kind of simulate a pass just like that. So the first one we're gonna do is outside hand scoop. So we're gonna catch, rip, we're gonna try to get to the hoop, and we're not gonna worry a ton about footwork. We're gonna do whatever's comfortable. So it might be one dribble, might be two dribbles, might be inside foot, might be outside foot. But all we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up, control the ball with one hand, not touching it with the opposite, and scoop a finish on this side. Get a finish, then you're gonna head to the other side. If you don't have a passer, you're gonna spin it to yourself. Catch, rip. This time now I'm going a lefty scoop finish, not touching it with my opposite hand. I'm just working back and forth for the full minute. So next one, we've got inside finish. Again, you're putting a minute on the clock. We're going back and forth on the baseline, so we're working on kind of this tough angle. So this time, we're gonna spin rip, just like before, but now instead of our outside hand, we're gonna get back to the middle and finish with our inside hand, palm to the sky, right? So the whole key here is we're trying to pick up on the outside of our body here and then get back to the inside. Get a finish, head to the opposite side, timer's still running, I'm catching, ripping through, this time I'm coming back, finishing with my right hand. So you can always think about it, you're gonna finish with the opposite hand from what you drove with. So if I drove with my left, I'm gonna finish with my right, and back and forth, going as hard as I can, getting a good sweat for a minute. All right, so the next one, we're gonna work on a little bit of English, a little bit of ball spin, and some touch with an outside hand reverse. So it looks like this, all starting the same, catching, ripping, going baseline. This time, once we get to the hoop, I'm gonna turn my chest towards the free throw line, and I'm gonna spin the ball up on the glass, rotating my pinky towards the backboard, just like that. So I'm getting a nice rotation, that way I get it up on the glass, get that spin, knock it down. Same thing opposite side, spinning it out, boom, quick catch rip, each time, chest is gonna go towards the free throw line, so as I get here, boom, I'm going up, pinky to the backboard, just like that. I always like to think about my chest angle because that makes it a lot easier to figure out what direction you're trying to put that spin on the basketball, and it makes it a lot more natural. So think about what direction that chest is pointing, that's gonna help you out with this one for a minute straight. All right, next one, we're going inside reverse finish. So we're doing the exact same thing, catch rip like before, going baseline. But this time I'm now turning my chest towards the baseline as I get ready to finish, and I'm gonna hook my thumb towards the bas backboard. So this one's gonna feel kind of more like an extended hook as you're getting underneath the basket and hooking it up on that glass. So we're working on different kinds of ball spin, right? We're going a minute straight, back and forth, exact same thing. I'm coming back out to this side, catching, ripping, this time I'm gonna try to leap from as far out as I can, bam, get my chest towards the baseline, hook it up on the backboard. Now what's fantastic about this workout is it's four minutes, right? So it doesn't take a ton of time. Great warm up, like I mentioned before, but we're working on a bunch of different finishing variations. Now you're not always gonna get layups from the baseline, but because it's such a tough angle, it's a fantastic way to work on that touch, work on that finishing, work on that ball spin, getting on the glass, all that sort of great stuff. So make sure that you're going and getting these reps for a minute straight each drill.
All right, don't forget, if you want to increase your scoring average, go ahead and click the top link in the description down below or the first link in the pinned comments and get free instant access to my Insta Buckets workout. It's a quick five minute workout, much like this one today, only more in depth that's going to help you score more points. And if you're new to shot mechanics, pop that subscribe button, ding the bell notification because sometimes YouTube doesn't like to give you my videos and make sure you hit that like button to help us with the algorithm so our videos actually get seen and players actually get better. Also, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what sort of video you want to see next and hopefully we'll be able to get to it. Again, my name is Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching and until next time, splash on.